I was asked before, could I do a video on my favourite gas mask satchels or the top 10 gas mask satchels? And because I don't have lots of different gas mask satchels, I can't really do the top 10, but I thought I'd just go through a list of some of the ones I really like. So this is going to be in no particular order. To start with, we have an unofficial gas mask satchel, as in it wasn't made for gas masks, it was made kind of as a sort of item for Amazon, I guess either a fashion or a practical bag. Now there should be a label on here somewhere for the actual brand of satchel, but weirdly I can't see it. But anyway, it's um, sort of a canvasy type bag, it's fairly decent size, and it has these kind of sort of buckles on it which you just pull through to undo. It's adjustable as well, which I like. If I spot the label, I will shout it out as I'm doing the video. So it's got plenty of room in there, and it looks like our label is visible. So I've got my CT12 in here, along with a particulate filter, and a CBRN filter, and a chemical sort of throw over. It's Highlander Adventure Equipment since 1985, Webbing Haversack. Which is not going to be very visible on there. But there you go. Plenty of room in there for actually putting gas mask and filters in. So in here I've got a gas mask, two filters, and an emergency NBC poncho. So you can fit most masks in these absolutely fine. And it's fairly good quality bag. You could use it for other things, obviously, other than gas masks. You could use it as a magazine carrier or just a practical little bag for carrying stuff in. That's what I like about a lot of gas mask satchels, they have that sort of old school um, sort of, you know, satchel practical bag look to them. Next, we have the East German or DDR satchels. Um, this is sort of a weird bit of trivia. East Germany didn't make their own masks, they just rebranded Soviet masks essentially. Um, but they did make their own bags and a lot of the weird accessories that came with them and I really like these bags. Um, what the East German ones are is kind of like coated, rubber coated or plasticky coated fabric. There's generally a name for this sort of stuff but it escapes me. So in here you've got room for your mask, a hose and a filter. And the interesting thing about these bags are, sort of has just a strong popper sort of button to do them up. It's got a couple of side bits as well. Is it has a hole in the bottom for a canister filter there, so you can breathe with the filter in the bag. Quite practical, good design. Obviously, the sort of fake leather kind of coating material on it keeps water out of the bag, which is a plus. Waterproof bags are always better than non-waterproof bags. Although some modern bags appear to not be waterproof, but they have a special sort of water retardant resistant coating on that keeps the water out. So there's always that. Next we have the CT12 or FM12 bag made by Avon. Um, an interesting thing to know is with the Avon bags, they've been like this for a while. My S6 is in a similar bag to this. My S10s are all in bags like this. So it's quite a common design. You have a Velcro and a popper or button on the front there. So you undo it like that and then you've got plenty of room in there for your gas mask and a filter. Now if you have a filter in there there's a side little pouch maybe that will be visible maybe not in there for the filter in the bag. I don't think I've currently got a filter in this bag. No I've not. Um, but there's plenty of room in there for a filter and a bag. Lots of velcro all around that top section so you get a nice secure sort of package when it's all done up. And again, these are water resistant even though it appears to be fabric. Now there's quite a lot of options with the back of this. You can buckle it onto things, you can wear it through about, and there's a carry strap hidden in there as well. So these bags are really good in the sense that you can have it on your belt, you can wear it via its strap, you know, you can clip it onto something else. When I store it, I have it clipped like this so it just hangs up in the bag. Very practical way to do it. Overall very good, you know, useful bags. Now this is a very simple bag. This is the uh, French or Belgium M51 gas masks bag. And one of the things I really like about this is how simple it is. It's not going to win any awards, but it's great. It has a simple pull through buckle like that. And then you've got the mask in there as well. And this will fit the mask and its filter already attached to the mask at the bottom. Works in a similar way to the sort of tall GP5 bags. Uh, obviously not all masks are going to fit in a bag like this, but for ones that do, it's a great bag. 
This would also be a really good mag if you uh, bag if you wanted to put mags in it or um, similar stuff to that as well. You can clip it to other things as well, how it's set up, and it's overall just a really practical bag. Um, I think Jack Striker used one of these to put crossbow bolts in, so you could use it, you know, actually as a quiver if you attached it to your belt or whatever. Maybe cut the lid off, but they're all, you know, all around very practical sort of canvasy bags that are relatively cheap. Now this is the favourite of all my gas mask bags, even though it's not my favourite gas mask by a long shot. It's one of the Czech M10M bags. Now these come in a few bags, but this is the bag I like. The others are sort of mediocre bags. And this is a really sort of bulky bag for what it is, but it's really nice. Um, I guess it's either leather or sort of fake leather. Um, so it's one of the two. It's either real leather or, you know, the forks leather stuff. Um, inside it's got this kind of material, a bit like the East German one where they've basically applied the leather or applied the synthetic leather, leather rubber stuff to there. So you've got masses of room because it's a bag for a cheek filter mask. Um, and there's some inside little pockets in there as well. Obviously if you wanted to put a normal gas mask in there you would have loads of room even with a couple of spare filters as well. You could, uh, with like one of those NBC ponchos, you could put that down the side as well, emergency poncho. Um, or a fold up raincoat, you could fit that in there as well with the bag. There's also some poppers at the bottom which you can fit more stuff in as well. I've got the old packaging, the check filters were in, in there as well. So there's a surprisingly large amount of room in this bag. This is one of those bags where if I find a surplus seller actually selling these um, in the UK, I'd definitely pick some up. People have given me links to foreign sites, but that's a bit useless for me. Um, again, it's really practical. You've got your big sort of strap to go over your shoulders, you've got alternative ways of attaching it, and you've got belt buckles on the back so you can just run it through your belt if you so desired. So that's the list of my favourite NBC um, sort of CBRN gas mask satchels. As I said, there's quite a lot of different variants. There are other ones I've got that are good as well I didn't show in this video, but I think this is a good demonstration of some of the different kinds of bags that have been made and really practical ones. But as I said, this is my favourite. You could fit loads of things in this and it's waterproof and a really nice material.